Hey gang, I talked to you guys uh, a little bit ago about this guy and the block blowing up and the fuel and all that stuff. Well the gentleman that uh, brought this also brought the an echo leaf or leaf blower over. I've worked on it before. Um, the gaskets, I'm going to put a rebuild kit in the carburetor. The gaskets uh, over time have a tendency to go bad. so. That ought to take care of the problem with it. It wants to flood itself out. So we'll get that one taken care of. But uh, such a generous, generous man. Um, he uh, had a Toro push mower that had, he said it had been sitting in a shed for about 10 years. Because he had replaced it with a new one. Uh, the new one was a four cycle. This Toro is the magnesium deck. Two cycle GTS. Isn't that just a thing of beauty? They said, here, you can have it. I don't care what you do with it. It's been sitting 10 years, so I doubt it runs. But it's at Zippo's. All, uh, two cycles are great as far as stored, being stored. It, it doesn't bother them a bit. So even if you didn't fog the cylinder and all that, these engines usually come back to life pretty easy. So once I get this started and uh, get it going, we'll... Uh, shoot another video but again you gotta realize this mower here is probably what 25 years old if that or, you know if not lo more look at the condition look how beautiful this is how he keeps all of his things in very 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 good shape I mean the stickers the decals you see down here the uh, excuse me the model number tag I mean just everything about it it, I, and I expected no less. You know, the condition is, is just as good as the condition of uh, his riding mower. Um, he is going out tomorrow and just buying a new John Deere. Uh, he said this one gave a good life for 11 years and um, he was satisfied with uh, what he got out of it. And he donated this and I will be replacing the engine in it uh, at my expense and then uh, attempting to recoup my expense. This is a Hydro uh, 18 and a half horse overhead valve. I'm not sure what engine I'll end up putting in it, but it's got plenty of room to put a twin in. Um, it's got a 42 inch deck, so it'd be a decent little uh, ride mower for somebody that's, that's looking to upgrade a little bit or something. But anyway, there you go. That's it. Zip I got a haul today. But we'll tinker with this one a little and see what we can do about getting her running. Shoot a trailing video about what I did. Uh, essentially all I'm going to do is pull the fuel bowl. There is a little bit of residual oil in the tank from the gas evaporating and the oil remaining. So I know that I need to blow the fuel line out, clean the carburetor out, and do all that fun happy stuff. I'm going to go ahead and fog the cylinder and run it over a few times without the spark plug in. Make, the, make sure I got everything lubed up real well. Uh, I'll introduce fuel to the gas tank and see if she's going to come back to life. And if so, I'll tack it onto the end of this video. If not, I'll tack on a different little snippet telling you what I found. This is Zippo later. Now.